Good morning, guys. Uh, in keeping with our manual D instruction, what I'm going to start doing now is getting into the psychometric chart because we're going to learn a little bit about the psychometric chart in order to do some duck heat loss and gain. We're going to find out the BTUs lost in leaky duck work, whether it be supply and return. And it's a little different for supply and return because you know return will draw in air from whatever area that it's in. Let's say it's running the attic, so you're going to get duck leakage infiltration into the return duct from the attic itself. In supply duct work it's a little bit different because you're actually blowing air out of the supply. So what's going to happen is it's going to put the space, which is the house that's being heated, into a negative pressure because air meant to, air that's coming from the house and going into the system is not making it back into the house. So the pressure is going to drop, it's going to become a negative pressure, and there'll be infiltration from the outside of the house. So what we're going to learn are the terms we need to know and take a look at the psychometric chart so we can run loads on those losses. So we'll know exactly how much we're losing through the ductwork. Let's say when we hook up, you know, you hook up a 13 series system to an old duct system because people can't afford to change their ductwork. It's probably the wisest thing because if you go on with a 15, 16, 17, all the way up to 20 series system on old ductwork, you waste so much you really lose a lot of the efficiency. So we're gonna look at how much we lose as far as BTUs and learn a little bit about the psychometric chart. But I wanna give a little introduction that video will probably be on the Talon 875 YouTube channel because it's going to be a little bit more in-depth and I'm going to do a little bit of editing for that one. So I don't know exactly when I'm going to be able to do it, but that's going to be the next one in the series. And then we can get back to other aspects of Manual D. This is a psychometric chart here. You can find them on the internet. A lot of time you just type in psychometric chart and go to Google Images and you can just print one off like this. Uh, there's a lot of terminology on there. You'll look down here and you'll see. Let's see, enthalpy, which is BTUs per pound of dry air, saturation temperature, you'll see specific volume. Oh, excuse me, you have humidity ratio, which will be grains of moisture per pound of dry air. And we'll find out what all that means. There's dry bulb, which we've all heard of, and wet bulb temperatures as well in here. So we're going to look at this chart and find out what we need on this chart. You know, we're not scientists, but we need to learn enough about it to understand how it applies to HVAC on a design or uh, technician's level. So we'll take a look at that coming up soon. Just want to give you all a little bit of heads up just in case you don't have one of these charts or never looked at one before. You can go ahead and print one out and take a look at it uh, before we get started.